welcome all of our families here at Foothills back to another great school year. We have made this video for you to see our pickup and drop off procedures. Our top priority is student safety. Before you leave home, make sure you've gathered all your things and given hugs and kisses. Let's take a look at our drop off and pickup procedures. At the front crosswalk, a teacher and safety patrol students will be there to assist parents and children across. The front north parking lot is used for those who want to park and walk their children in. At Foothills Elementary, our drop-off and pickup lane runs smoothly when everyone cooperates and follows the procedures. Please use the entire lane in front of the school to drop off and pick up your children, even before the crosswalk. For drop-off procedures in the morning, keep going and stop behind the car in front of you when pulling through. And then make sure you unload quickly. When coming down the lane towards the east end of the pull-through, go all the way down to the benches. If you choose not to go through the pull-through lane in front of Foothills, there is a north parking lot where you can park and walk your children in. This is not a drop-off area. Do not pull in and drop off your children for them to use the crosswalk to cross by themselves. Children need a parent to cross with them. Again, do not have them walk by themselves through the parking lot. It is not safe. The area at the end of the parking lot is also not a drop-off location. Do not park your car and ask your children to cross the pull-through lane while vehicles come through. This is not safe at all. Again, we ask that if you use the north parking lot, please park and walk your children in. We recommend just using the pull-through lane to stay in your car and drop off your students. After dropping off your children, stay in the lane and exit together. This is a right turn only when turning out of the pull-through lane and parking lot. This is due to cars lined up along Morning Cloak Way to come in. Turning right keeps the flow going smoother. In this example, cars are dropping children off along Shaggy Peak before the faculty entrance on the west side, which is only for faculty. If you don't want to use the front pull-through lane and to help alleviate traffic in front of foothills, you can use this area and other side streets to drop off your students. The students can then walk the rest of the way along the sidewalk safely. They should never cross a busy road by themselves. There will be cars wrapped around the west side waiting to get into foothills pull-through lane. Please do not use Shaggy Peak where there is red paint to drop off students. This backs up traffic. Riverton City has posted signs to remind you not to drop off students there. Here is an example of what not to do along the side streets. Please do not park on the other side of Shaggy Peak or other streets around Foothills to get your children out of the car and run across the street. This is not safe. Students must cross at the intersection of Shaggy Peak and Morning Cloak and walk if parents use this side of Shaggy Peak. Big thank you to our School Community Council for helping create this video. I hope it was helpful. Again, our top priority is student safety. Remember to let your children know to make sure and use crosswalks and to never cross a busy street. Let's make it a great school year. We welcome all of our families back this school year at Foothills. We have made this video for you to... Ah! <laughs>